All right, you guys, what we're gonna talk about today is how to properly unpack and start up your Dabstick's skillet kit. Skillet kits are known for being a lot more discreet than our glass globe kit. They kind of look like an e-cigarette, so if you're uh, somewhere where you're not supposed to be dabbing, this is probably the best one for you. Um, what comes in the kit, first and foremost, is every one of them we give you another skillet bowl. So you can see this is our ceramic rod wrapped in titanium. Um, we also have the wick style, it's really whatever you prefer, but everybody gets a replacement bowl. It's pretty exclusive to dab sticks, one of the things we do. Comes with a charger, charger for your battery. This is universal with uh, all dab sticks products. You also comes with a free dab tool. What this is used for is to grab your dab, as you can see it's clean. I recommend you know cleaning off your tip here, keep it dust, dust free, but really nice. Now let's get down to it. So what you got is, on this side, is two sides of the pin. You have the battery here. As you can see, when you need to charge it, you're gonna take your charger, you'll screw it in to the battery. That's how to properly charge your dab stick. Now every one of ours comes factory charged, so when you pull it out of the case, it'll be ready to dab for you. Everybody seems to appreciate that. The other side is the actual skillet piece. You have the mouthpiece here, which is interchangeable. We also have different colors and different styles available online. You got the chamber and you've got the bowl, as you saw before. What you wanna do is screw in your battery to the bowl piece here. It'll secure pretty tightly. Um, then you wanna unscrew the chamber from the bowl. Now when you do that, you will expose your uh, heating element here. See, we've been dabbing out of this one already. Um, what I would recommend is to put it into your dab stand. If you didn't buy one of these, you can purchase them online at www.dabsticks.com. They're like $5.99. They work really well for when you're trying to load it, when you have your skillet next to your bed, um, on your desk, wherever it may be. It works nice to kind of keep it up and keep your concentrate from leaking out everywhere. So we're going to show you how to load it. Um, today what we have is some sour diesel shatter from our friends over at Can of Gold. They hooked us up, so we're going to hook them up and uh, show everybody how good their product is. This stuff is stupid loud. Make sure you look for them in your local dispensary. We're going to unwrap it here. We're going to take our dab tool and we're going to pop off a chunk. You can kind of use your parchment paper to help you do this. As you know, if you got good shatter, sometimes it goes flying. That's part of it. What you want to do is take a good size dab, not too big where it's going to clog up your uh, clog up your nail, but big enough where you get a good hit. Experienced users can put a little bit more than this. And you want to put it right on to the heating element of your dab stick. You want to press the button five times to turn it on. That's the safety feature on it. All of our skillets come with a safety feature on the battery where if you press it five times, it'll turn it on. If you press it five more times, it'll turn it off. It'll show when it's on and off by blinking three times, you can see here. Dab stick is now on. So what you wanna do after you do that is hold down the button and you'll see your concentrate start vaping. What I recommend that you do is to screw the top piece on here, hold the button down for a few seconds before you hit it, that way it builds up nice and big. Put it to your lips and enjoy.